What's better than cash and a gift card for Christmas? Oh, besides cookies. That's right, it's a magic wallet to put them in. We're going to make a magic wallet today. So, there it is. There's our money. We've put the money into the wallet. We're going to close the wallet up and lock the money in place. Once again, we'll do it the other way. We'll put the money down, close it, and it's locked in place. Not locked in place. Locked in place. Want to know how it works? Keep watching. Oh, and please subscribe. There are heaps more videos like this coming in the future. Have fun, guys. The ingredients that you'll need for your magic wallet include contents, so cash or a gift card. As long as it fits in between the ribbons, you'll be good to go. You need four ribbons, uh, ideally double-sided. I would prefer to use a satin ribbon, but all I had was this sort of see-through one. It'll work fine as long as it's double-sided. And somewhere between a quarter and a third of an inch wide on that one, so less than a centimeter wide. You then need four slices of cardstock. Uh, two for the outside, two for the inside. I'm using two different colors. You can use whatever you like. Light cardboard would also work for this. And those need to be three and a half inches by five inches in, di in dimension. So for all four of them are three and a half by five. If you're using centimeters, that's going to be nine centimeters by 13 centimeters. And the length of that ribbon is eight inches or 20 centimeters. And of course, adhesive of choice. I'm using double-sided tape, and you can use whatever floats your boat, as long as it will attach ribbon to cardstock. Now to create this, we're going to start with the inside. Correct side facing up, so if it has a texture on it, that's going to face up. Then we're going to take the piece on the left and turn it over so the correct side or the textured side is facing down. Going to put a little bit of double-sided adhesive or glue on about an inch, maybe a little bit more, of one of or two of your slices of ribbon. And we'll start with the first one. You want to make sure that none of this adhesive comes off the edge of the paper. So keep all the adhesive on the paper and go about an eighth of an inch down from the very top. Just a tiny little gap and then press it down. And the size of that gap is very important and you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom, about an inch, maybe a little bit more of adhesive and don't let the adhesive go past the edge of the paper. And again, about an eighth of an inch or a little less of a gap. Totally up to you, as long as it's not much more than that. We're going to grab the side of the paper that has tails, <laughs> as the ribbon tail, and lift up and flip it over. Now we'll start with the bottom and snugly pull the, pull the ribbon across without making the paper bend. So make it nice and snug but not too snug and just certainly not loose. Then we're going to apply a little bit of adhesive this time, instead of not going past the edge, we're going to go straight past the edge and put no adhesive anywhere on your paper. But you do want it to be nice and neat and close to the edge. So just off the edge and onwards. And do the same thing on the top. Snugly pull it across. Snugly but gently pull it across. And again, same thing. Put a little bit of adhesive just past the edge of the paper. Now how you make this next part happen is totally up to you. You may want to do one at a time or both at the same time. 
I'm going to do both at the same time and we will do this by stretching out that ribbon again, making sure it's nice and lined up exactly how you want it to be when you're finished. Do the same with the bottom and hold on to both pieces of ribbon. We'll then pick up the next piece of paper, so textured size up, and basically put it in at an angle at the very end of your paper and lay it down. Just like so. Now you want to make sure that you have a tiny little gap. See how there's a black line there? There's a tiny little gap between the two. Not too big, but certainly not too small, otherwise your project won't work. So it's a bit about precision here. And do make sure that the top and the bottom are lined up. There you go. So the first section is finished. Now, something interesting to note is that when you lift this up, that ribbon isn't actually attached in the middle to either of the two pieces. This is where the magic happens. So I'm going to fold that back up so that it looks just like so. And then what we need is an X in the middle of the paper made in ribbon. And you can tape that down while you're waiting as long as it's a or while you're doing the process as long as the tape is removable I do have tape here that can be easily taken off so I'm going to tape mine down um, but you do whatever you need to to get it to stay in place and nice and lined up keeping in mind that that is going to be removed later I'm now going to get another couple of pieces of double-sided tape and I'm going to lift up the left the left piece and thread the two pieces through just like that okay flip this over like you're closing a book and make sure it's nice and lined up now the paper may not want to line up so you may have to tell it to line up but we're going to take because the because of the ribbon the paper may not want to line up the, all the ribbon that's under it so you just make sure that it's pulled snugly and now we'll start with this top piece once again we'll put a little adhesive so that it's coming straight off the edge so no adhesive anywhere except on the ribbon and the same thing with the bottom have a look at where the ribbon is and then apply a little bit of adhesive and I'll slide that under so you can see that where the ribbon is <laughs> and pull off the papers and once again you can see how this is starting to shift because of the ribbon you need to make sure it's nice and lined up when you fold that over and then go where the ribbon wants to so you're not going to go straight across you're going to go up and to the side and the ribbon will tell you where to fold it same thing down here just like that Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do, turn the entire thing over. Both, both sheets of paper are going to get turned over. And while you're over here, you can trim off the excess from that ribbon before so that you're not accidentally gluing over the top of it or anything like that before you get a chance to trim it. And once again, same thing. We're going to make sure that those pieces are snug. Just like that. You're going to apply the adhesive right off the edge. Again, making sure that none of that adhesive gets in underneath. You don't want it on the inside, just on the outside. And once again, if it's coming down here, it's actually going to mirror image and come this way. But again, the, the ribbon will actually tell you where to go. So just go, go with it. Go with the flow. Okay, same situation. Trim off a bit here and a bit there, wherever the adhesive is not. 
and we'll open it up and then remove that little piece of adhesive that we used to have the X stay down on the paper while we were doing the rest of it. Okay, now let's test our magic wallet. So what you're going to do is put whatever whatever you're using to go into the wallet in between the two horizontal lines. And then you're just going to close the wallet. Now, notice we closed it like a book. If you were to open it backwards, your money is now locked into place. And provided, now this is a bit slippy because I didn't pull quite hard enough, but provided this is snug enough, your money should stay locked into place. And then when you close it again and open it from the other side, you've unlocked your money. So close it and unlock. Now, notice how it just slid up like that? It actually won't work if it's tucked under that top and bottom ribbon. So, as I mentioned before, if you want to resize it, you can. You just need to make sure that that top and bottom ribbon, whatever size ribbon and whatever size paper you use, are on the outsides of whatever you're hoping to lock under the X. If they are at all covering it, it won't work. Okay, so inside that, and there you go. It's a magic wallet. Okay, now if you're wondering about the cover, I'm going to apply some adhesive all the way up to the edges, being very careful it is up to the edges because you won't really have an edge covered here. You won't really have the edges of these covered up, so you want to make sure that it's super, super neat when you attach them so there aren't any gaps in between. Now you could... You could use a bit of washi tape to decorate it up after, but that is totally up to you how you go about that. And we're just going to very neatly, once you've applied the, applied the adhesive, very neatly press it all down on top and then turn it over. Same thing on the back once everything is in place. Neatly apply it. And now your magic wallet is complete. I hope you enjoyed that guys. We'll see you tomorrow for another daily December video. I hope you make a few of these and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.